Royal Fury, how the Queen's Morocco tour from hell made her clearly very angry Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will arrive in Morocco today to commence a three-day tour of the African Kingdom but when the Queen made her only state visit there in 1980 it was dubbed the tour from hell. The Queen's trip to Morocco was dogged by blunders and mishaps, with Her Majesty experiencing a series of unfortunate events. The monarch endured a lengthy wait in a sweltering hot desert tent while the Moroccan King Hassan II vanished and went to lounge in his air-conditioned caravan. Newspaper reports told how the Queen was clearly very angry, showing signs of displeasure by fidgeting with her bag and hat and tapping her foot. She told photographers at the time, keep your cameras drained. You may see the biggest walkout of all time. Royal tours to the North African country, where the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will pay a three-day official visit, have proved challenging over the years. The Queen's sister Princess Margaret reportedly warned her, saying, Going to Morocco is rather like being kidnapped, you never know where you are going or when. Autocratic Hassan II, who ruled from 1961 to 1999, was extremely paranoid, having survived a number of assassination attempts so was deliberately erratic in his movements. He made the Queen change cars seven times on the road from Marrakesh into the foothills of the snow-capped Atlas Mountains during the trip in October 1980. Schedules were thrown into disarray and venues were switched between the many royal palaces without notice. At one point, the Queen arrived in full regalia for the King's state banquet to find that the chosen palace was closed. She was left waiting for nearly an hour for her host to arrive. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.